Hello everybody, welcome back for the third education level. Today, we will be looking at how do we do the chart setup, how are all these lines drawn, the purpose of the lines, as well as how to use them to our beneficiary in every trading that we use. Today, I will use the TC2000 as an illustration of how I set up the chart. First of all, we'll click here, a new layout tab. We'll select the one chart, and to make it easier, I'll change it into a two minute chart. First of all, I'll remove the border band, which is not what I use. I'll change the layout for the candle bar, which is here, basing on open versus close, and both up and down bar is filled. For my preference, I actually prefer this because it made me have a clear understanding and clear outlook right away whether it's a down bar or it's an up bar, representing by a green or red bar. Then we will start to add in the plots. First of all, I will add in 3 EMA, which is moving, as, moving average exponential, which is 1. Two and three, the third one. Of course, we will have we will be changing their setting very soon. The first setting, we will change it to uh, eight. Okay, for those people who have not understand what's the meaning of eight, fifty, or be one hundred, it means the period, the previous eight bars, half average. The average, sorry, the average of the previous eight bars. If you are having the two minute chart, it will be the previous eight two minute bars, which is the average. The eight minute, and I'll change this into 21. Changing a color as well, we'll use blue in this instance. And the third one will be 100 using a color purple. Well, the color is up to your preference, by the way. But I do reserve one color, which is for my simple moving average, which is here. And I will edit it, change it to 200, simple moving average. Please be aware here, this moving average is simple moving average. It's not the exponential, which I'll change it to red, which is an important indicator for me. And I will add in various like VWAP indicator, not the moving VWAP, but the VWAP, which is represented by the orange color, as well as the perfect line, perfect points. Okay. Right now, you have the full setup of my trading chart, which I observe. Why are they important? Let me give an illustration and an explanation. To make a trading or an entry trading more advantage to my side, for my setup, I will always prefer all the lines will be below the candle bar for any long stop, which is you are buying a call for options. As we can see for Tesla, the first one, two, three, four, five. The first five candle bar is well below or in between all the lines, which on the fifth line, it actually went up. Uh, this create an interest for me that it has a smooth, long advantage. And as for those people who actually see the previous video, our market one and our green text rate. You will observe that you can actually have a green text rate here, which there is a profit or even a longer profit over 24 points or just $5 point. 
what is actually important for me using the green tick straight that not the green tick straight strategy is actually to have the 200 moving average well below the candle bar which i which is why i mentioned i like it red because it create a alert for me whenever i get close to the 200 i'll be alarmed i'll be wary i'll be more cautious which as we can see along the point let me give you a illustration of and if there's anyone oh no there reason <laughs> ah somewhere here as you can see the 200 sometimes use it as a strong resistance to actually block the price from moving over so if i'm going for a call at this point at this period of time if i mean if i'm going for a call at this period of time i'll be wary to take a profit where it's very near and what about the rest of the line okay as we can see here once the candle bar is well above the 821 or 100 bar plus it's also above the VWAP. You create a favorable environment for me to enter for my market one strategy, which is a one bar low, a one minute bar low. Let me change to a one minute chart, a one minute bar lower than the previous bar. Okay, most people are confused with what does it mean by a one minute bar lower than the previous bar. Simply put here, any bar that the highest point is lower than the previous point will have an indicative entry point for me which for this instance is one two three four it occurs in the fourth bar which is here okay the color is the same actually so I'm, I may want to change it to, uh, let's see, a uh, yellow one, yep. uh, a brighter yellow one, okay, yeah, which is here. Ta -da. Okay, we will take a look on the fourth minute, the high point, which is 845.73. The entry point for me for a call option will be the 845.73 for Tesla anytime when this bar set up so at any point of time once the bid price pass 845.73 I hit the buy button and it gives you a $4 profit now please be aware that there is also a market one here but it's less favorable for me because the VWAP is also an indication that whether I want to take a take a trade for long when my candle any price candle is below the VWAP as you can see here 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 I will not I will, I will say that I will have less desire to go for a long entry for a particular stock although there is a there is a profit here for a quick two dollars one minute but it's a risky one as you can see the downfall for it alternatively if you're going for a put which will be the opposite of a call that your lowest point of any one minute candle is actually higher than the previous limit which occur here this will have a good entry for me actually for a put options because in opposite any put entry or any short entry will have the VWAP above you instead of below you for call which occur here and I will enter immediately when the ask price of Tesla hit 832.37 and have a quick one minute profit of three dollars 
of your willing to take a longer time a seven dollars this chart this lesson give you an illustration a quick illustration on how we set up the chart and what's the purpose of all this night during our live trading whereby when we say oh we will be entering a particular point using a particular strategy like a green takes rate at a particular entry point of course upon seeing this third video if you have not seen the first video of market one and the second video of green takes rate please subscribe to us go ahead take a seven minute time and a ten minute times for a quick look through on the strategy so that when you join us for the live every day from 9 20 to 10 o'clock you'll be have a clear understanding of when we enter why we take the trade how we have the profit and you will be able to enjoy the profit as well so i'll end the education video today and thank you all for watching if there's any comment or any inquiries please enter into the commentary and we will get back to you as soon as possible how we will be creating another video for more illustration as well as an update on our strategy as well thank you everybody have a nice day and happy trading